Welcome back to the second channel guys me and Ethan's out here We're about to do a nice little gun video. We're about to do a penetration test with some ballistics gel We got two different guns. We're gonna side them in then we're actually gonna see how good they penetrate This is stuff. a Savage Axis XB2 30 alt 6. I've got a KG Jaeger Pro on top. Oh, yeah looking very nice looking very nice very affordable gun, too This gun's never been shot the scope's not been played with yet. Like I got it out of the box through this this mount on here and this scope. And these are these are the mounts that come with the scope. KG sling. This is yeah, KG slings on there. This is my favorite scope. I mean, for the money, you can't beat this scope. I've got Vortex Vipers, and I actually took it off of my other 270, putting one of these on it. I've actually just got one right over there to put on my 338 Lapua. How many how many of those do you have? Jaeger Pros? Yeah. I got like five. That's the main gun of the video though. This one's kind of just a little, little extra, a little, little extra sauce in there for you. If y'all been watching my main channel, you'll probably have already seen this gun, but it is. This is a Ruger American Ranch 450 Bushmaster. Bushwhacker. We nicknamed it the Bushwhacker. I mean, it just makes sense. I like it's short barrel. It's a short barrel with a huge muzzle brake. You can put that thing in your pocket. You can. And I bought this because I wanted American. I shot Kendall's a lot and I like it. So I was like, they're these are inexpensive, but for the money, they're they're guaranteed MOA or you can send this back to Ruger and they'll fix it or send you another one. Hog hunting, this will definitely be the gun I take. Maybe even bear hunt. You know, he said something really important there that really tells a lot about us. We didn't buy that gun for hog hunting. We bought that gun just in case we might go hog hunting sometime in the future. We're just prepared for we're, anything. We're, we just, we kind of just buy guns and throw little excuses like that in there to justify our purchase. Anyways, here's what we got. What is in this box is also one of the main things about this video. Mm -hmm. I got some gold in here. Don't rob me if you see me. That's not 5.56 five, you see, I promise. This is the main thing of video. This is what they used in World War II, but this, this exact stripper clip in my hand is different. These are not your average 30-06. These are AP, armor piercing 30-06. Now these right here, these are pretty much surplus from what they used in World War II. They used these to shoot at planes, tanks, cars, literally anything that they figured, you know what, it might, normal bullets might have a hard time getting through but we need to get through it they pulled these things out and just started launching them that one right there on the right is a normal 30-06 that people would like deer hunt with and then those over here with the black tip are the armor piercing cool thing about these they're actually still in the stripper clip ready to go in an m m1903 which is one of the rifles that they use these for in world war ii but we'll set those down we're going to try to do some really cool penetration tests with those in a minute but as for now, pulling out those 30 all 6 let's go ahead and get it sighted in to where we can hit exactly where we're aiming. This is the first time this gun's been shot. And right here, before we finally shoot it, roll the montage. See where it's at, don't you? No, where is it? We're right through the orange sticker. Now time for the 450 Bushmaster. Oh, open it upside down. This is the bullet we're gonna be shooting this. That is a pretty big, I would I would compare this to a sledgehammer. Like that's a pretty, that's a pretty good analogy. We actually already sent a 458 SOCOM and that 450 Bushmaster through the ballistics gel and compared them. But that was actually in one of our pawn shop videos on the main channel. So if you wanna go watch that, you'll have to go to the main channel to see it through gel. It was pretty impressive, but as for right now, we're just gonna side it in, then we're gonna move on to the armor piercing with the 30 out 6 Where'd you get there? Yeah, I blew the mag apart. You broke the mag? Yeah, blew it apart. Dang. That ain't the first time we've had a mag break. <laughs> on me. Thanks a lot, Ruger. I adjust it to where it was hitting, and voila, the gun should be sighted in in no time. Where are we hitting? What? I need to go over to the left two inches and down a foot. Huh. I don't... All right, we got this gun taken care of. Now for the AP versus the steel plate. Now this is 3 8 inch AR-500. So it is super, super hard steel, literally created just to shoot at and take repetitive abuse over and over and over again. But this here, is the bullet. Here you go. 
Let's make this happen. What's your what's your what do you think? Because I think it's going through. It's a little, it's made to go through armor. I think it's going it's an armor piercing round. If the 300 Ultra Mac went through just with a ballistic tip, this has got to go through. We're gonna shoot off the rest just to increase our chances of. Now, now you also gotta keep in mind. Yes, those targets are meant to be shot at, but they also say when you shoot them to shoot them with like a soft tip or something like that. That is not armor piercing. With this being armor piercing, it 100% voids the, their guarantee of stopping bullets. But will it actually stop the bullet? We don't know. About to find out. Whenever you're ready. Oh. I think it stopped it, but there's no way to know until we actually go up there. The recoil is a lot lighter on that one. Lighter? Wow. Oh man, yeah I can. Dude, that did some serious damage. Dude, whoa. I don't know how good y'all can see that, but that's a serious little divot. The 300, the 50 cal hit it. The 300 Ultra Magnum, which is the one that actually went through it, poked this hole right here. The armor piercing 30 6 hit it right there. That's a solid dent, dude. And then the 50 BMG, which is a 50 cal, it hit it. It, it hit it right here and just bulged it out. Literally bent the metal. But even a 50 BMG didn't do the same thing as a 30 6 armor piercing. Did you expect that? No. You expected it to go through. I thought it would go through. It is, it is honestly close and that's extremely hardened metal so imagine something that wasn't literally meant to be bulletproof like a truck or a plane those things would tear through it now let's go get the ballistics gel and put them head to head armor piercing versus regular deer hunting honestly with ballistics gel since there's no armor the deer round should do more damage because it should expand more the armor piercing, since it's a steel core, one big bullet, should just hold its weight and go all the way through. But, that's what we're going to do, boys. We're about to find out. Let's roll. So we're going to shoot the armor piercing second. Yep. Just to see, you know. And the normal deer round first. It's going first. Now, we do have the ballistics gel down there on the table. Unfortunately, you can't see it that good, but that's okay. We'll look at it in a minute. Send the first deer round when you are ready. Did you hit it? Yep. Let's go check it out. Thoughts, what do you think's gonna happen? How far did it go in? I think it went all the way through, but I could be wrong because that round's made to expand. Oh, that's create. true, that's true, that's true. I didn't think about that. I think the wound channel will be crazy though. I think 100% it went all the way through, but like he just mentioned, it is created to fragment. It's not necessarily created to fragment, it's created to, instead of going like this, it's created to go in and turn into like this. Mushroom. It's supposed to mushroom. Now, does does that mean that it, it'll flake off? Not necessarily. It's not supposed to it's not supposed to flake off, but sometimes it does. This ballistics gel that we have here, it does have a few bullet wounds, but from smaller calibers, so I think a 30 or 6, I don't think we'll have a hard time figuring out which one is which. That's it right there, ain't it? That's it. It went straight all the way through. It actually it actually went through and peeled out some. So that right there was the 30 all 6. It, you kind of missed, you didn't miss it, but you got right on the edge and it had so much energy it literally- You gonna just, shoot it again just to see? No, nah, it's all right. This gave us as much information we want. It expands big and goes in deep. Oh, Let's here's try. a piece of that. That's a pretty solid hole right there. Let's go grab the AP and see if it does a bigger hole, if it stops, if it goes straight through, We'll figure out what happens. That would be a dead deer as far as the wound channel goes. 100%. If that goes through the lungs or heart or something, the deer ain't going very far at all. That channel goes this deep. That, ain't get, that deer ain't going nowhere. It's that wide. It's a good two and a half inches wide. Armor piercing. Armor piercing 30-06 versus ballistics gel. Let's see what happens. Put safety on. Oh, that was a, what was that, a direct hit? Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't know where you hit it. I really don't. That's I, it right there. Right there? Yep. That right there? Yep, that's it. That's a 30 alt 6 Yep. What is that from? See, we can, or was that it? That's weird. Now, this one's weird. It did fragment quite a bit. 
you, it, it's hard to it's hard to see because it's not what you'd expect. But that little whoa, bitty whoa, hole. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got a pocket knife? Yes. There is a core right there. Wait. Do you see that? I see it. Run up there and grab it. I mean, it's in the bush bed there to the thing. You can just drive it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, drive it on down here. What we just found out is that the bullet we just shot, which had the steel core, there's a chance the steel core may be right there because something from that bullet is stuck inside of here. And we don't know what it is. As for penetration, straight through. Like, not a question. In and out, just like we imagined. Look at that from the deer round. I'm talking, that is some... I don't care what you say, ballistics gel is not soft. This stuff is hard. Oh, what we're going to use to cut this open? Oh, nothing much. Just the KG pocket knife. Available kindlegrade1.com slash our first link in the description. You can also pick up this shirt right here. It is the USA Navy. Or you can pick up the orange tiger shirt that Ethan is wearing. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Check it out. How is the best way to get in there? I think I just got to go in for it, don't I? Let's go in for it. All right. <sighs> It's in there, dude. There's also a little 22 in here that we never recovered. We'll get it here in a second. Gosh. No way. I think it's part of the steel. I'm going to have to sharpen this knife tonight. It's dulled it up. It's hard to get to. Almost got it. There we go. It's not what he's looking for. It's not the steel core, but it's a little bit of a steel jacket or lead jacket or whatever that is. But that's one of the parts that actually came off. There's another piece of it right here. I don't know if, which that is what's supposed to happen. The steel core is supposed to keep going and the jacket's just supposed to kind of come off, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here's another piece of the jacket right there. That's crazy. Now let's get, we shot a 22 into it the other day. Not for any specific purpose, but we'll Just go ahead and dig it out. feels cool. Yeah, pretty much. Big shout out to Clear Ballistics, bro. They hooked us up when they sent this to us. We've used this so many times. Dude, if we had a torso, we would have it made. Oh man, that 22 long rifle coming in clutch, man. That is absolutely perfect what they're supposed to do goes in then mushrooms that's the most perfect mushroom i've ever seen out of a bullet you see that that is perfect that's pretty good that's very good that's insane wow i tell you what guys um i know that a lot of you guys probably don't have armor piercing 30-06 laying around your house but here's what you probably do have you probably do have a 22 long rifle. Maybe you have a 22 Magnum or maybe a 17 HMR. Little calibers that we can use for everyday stuff around here like shooting targets or maybe even a killing a squirrel. Since this is the second channel, I know we don't get a ton of views on here, but if we can get 3,000 likes on this video, we'll get a brand new block of ballistics gel. We will try all the rimfire calibers. We will see how they do against actual stuff. We will find out which one's best for squirrels. But as for now, thanks for watching this second channel video. Subscribe if you're not already. And we will catch you guys later.